Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, I have already posted a gold and silver video that it discusses the meaningful uh, swings, and that is by by that means what we are expecting in terms of next few weeks or next few. Uh, I said next two to three weeks. But in today's video, I'm trying to uh, look at gold. Uh, because gold is positioning pretty amazingly it is uh, showing a small time frame that is uh, using a 15 minute chart we can look at some amazing trading setups uh, now this trading setup since it's a 15 minute chart so it's uh, highly risky uh, so keep that in mind the smaller time frame it is the more volatility it can create uh, and that's why it's more risky so when I started Elliott Wave Analysis in my earliest days and I was used to do all sorts of drying and then uh, labeling and very rigid and I'll use as many as uh, mm, tools possible from Elliott Wave Analysis and then later on when I graduated slowly and steadily through experience I I, ha I realized that I was cutting through I had to cut through a lot of those tools however those tools actually sometimes make really uh, really good adjustments on the chart and today's video we are going to look at it very amazing chart and the pattern that we are going to look at right now labeling is that I can clearly count a five wave structure from this bottom to the top right over here or if you want we can actually basically look at this top as well okay so uh, this top or this top I think this top it makes more sense and we can clearly count five wave structure all right so I'm clearly thinking right over here is that we have a, a clearly impulse wave right over here okay all the way to the top we can clearly count uh, the structure uh, but there is an important pullback right over here okay so let's try to see first of all come up with the uh, labeling that we have here so I'm th uh, we can we have a clear start from over here I'm thinking this is wave one right and this is wave two so we can clearly see this is wave uh, 3 right over here we have a very good pullback right over here and then we have wave 5 wave structure right over here this being an A uh, wave within so what I'm expecting before we look at this analysis uh, let's just just uh, zoom out a bit okay on a larger time frame we are expecting for the prices to go up right over here and then come down and go up right over here okay so that's why this is going to be a zigzag pattern, a three wave structure. This is expected to be a three wave structure. And this is either going to be a three wave structure or a five wave structure. All right. So keeping that thing in mind, we now can see on a four on a, on a 15 minute chart that we have. Let's bring it to hourly time frame. And we can see that we have completed most of the wave already. Uh, the structure is still going on we are yet not sure that the structure is complete or not although the shape is pretty awesome it looks like a very uh, bookish uh, uh, flat correction however the structure is not complete and I'll show you guys why as soon as the structure is complete we are expected to see a move sharper move on the upside the reason is because we are completing a three wave structure uh, which is a first wave structure is complete over here a pullback and a move upward so as per Elliott wave analysis when we have a zigzag one of the waves is clearly subdivisible and the other waves is or the third part is not clearly subdivisible all right within a zigzag we have two directional waves with the first one is clearly subdivisible as we can see all right if it is the first one is a sharper wave then we have a pullback and then the second stage will see more subdivisible here we have seen a more subdivisible wave already that means as soon as the correction is complete we are looking for a more sharper wave as compared which will not be as subdivisible as the as this wave structure now we we'll look at our correctional pattern and see if we have seen the completion of the structure we can clearly see from our we uh, have the knowledge that this is a, looks like a 335 structure we need to see whether this is a 5 wave structure complete or not in that case we have to look at a 15 minute chart and uh, we can clearly see let me see that so what I see is I see two zigzags right over here okay I see this is the first zigzag right over here and then we can see a correction pattern right over here right or and I can also see this is the second zigzag right over here and then we have a correction pattern right over here so I believe that the wave structure is yet not complete and we are to see another zigzag bringing it down 
but they will indicate that we are looking at an ending diagonal and also this structure doesn't have to include this as a correction we can clearly see that the correction could be ended over here so we can clearly label this structure at the start of the structure over here this is wave A over here this is wave B over here and then we are expecting for the wave C to be somewhere around the lower end of the previous wave 4 structure within this wave, wave, wave C we can clearly label a 5 wave structure so I would say the, our structure started from over here we are considering this as an ABC and I would say that we are considering this as a full correction, a zigzag on a very small time frame. So I like I like it being the whole structure in this way. So we'll call it wave 3 and I would say this is wave 4, a sharper zigzag move on the upside. I'm expecting a clear subdivisual wave on the downside. That would be completing an ending diagonal. Alright, and that ending diagonal is wave C of a flat correction. So A, B and C. However, we need to understand that uh, let's say um, there is a possibility that our whole labeling of this is wrong. In that case, we can use this top, which is 2036. If prices goes beyond 2036, that will actually confirm that the wave structure is complete. In that case, we can go long. We can actually wait for a pullback or we can simply go long on that point. That's our trading decision. Uh, that's up to your personal decision. Okay. So I'm going to personally going to wait because we are expecting a pull, uh, further move bearish, um, further bearish move in price of silver, and that's why I'm expecting. But uh, that we'll see more bearish action. Um, but I think that will be short-lived, and there is a possibility that we can see a sharper move today, and then we can go long right over here. So let's have a look at uh, our time frame once again to see where exactly the possibility is. So. I'll use uh, this important tool right over here. Then so I would say that the price started from over here, went over here, all the created top, and it's making it's going to create a bottom somewhere around the previous uh, wave four, and then we are expecting a sharper move on the uppish side. So I would say, yeah, somewhere around 2055, 2055 is a. Uh, so that's the wave structure that we have on the daily time frame. I would say that we as soon as the drop happens if the drop does not happen then we'll go long and the price is crossed over here we'll still have a lot of price movement left but if the price drops further down and then we can wait for the prices to jump up, up just a bit and then we can use this area to create a stop loss crisis just beyond somewhere around which is the end of wave one this is right I'm talking about that will be our wave end so we can use this top uh, to create a stop loss and we can use this point as an entry point we'll wait for our prices to jump up a bit and then go long so this is a 15 minute chart or an hourly time frame chart analysis and we understand uh, aware that this brings a lot of uh, risky um, because we are trying we are discussing the 15 minute and an hourly time frame this is a lot riskier chart than the regular daily time frame chart that we look at it wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye